Day 9 students, I am Teacher Cell, your science techie buddy in this episode. Let me take you to another fun and exciting learning journey in SDONE TV. Today, the skills that you must acquire after this lesson are the following. Describe shield, cinder cone, and composite volcanoes. And locate volcanoes using Google Earth. Be the best that you can be after exploring the amazing facts in this lesson. Now, get your notebook and pen ready. Let's start! First, let us see how much do you remember about earthquakes. How do you think an earthquake occur? You are absolutely correct! Earthquakes are usually caused when rock underground suddenly breaks along a fault. This sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two blocks of rock or plates are rubbing against each other, they stick a little. When the rocks break, the earthquake occurs. Why do you think Philippines is prone to earthquakes? Yes, you are right! The Philippines lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire which causes the country to have frequent seismic and volcanic activity. Our topic for today is very interesting because we're going to talk about something that is beautiful but dangerous. Do you have any idea about it? Excellent! It is Volcano! For today's lesson, let us explore the wonderful and majestic mountains in the Philippines. Have you been in Albay? What about in Tagaytay? How about in Zambales? If you have been in Albay, then you have seen the famous perfect cone of Mayon Volcano. If you have been to the Gaitai, then you have seen the Al Volcano within the lake. And I'm sure that you will never forget Mount Pinatubo that lies in the boundary of central Luzon. Volcano is a vent or chimney which transfers molten rock known as magma from depth to the earth's surface. Take a look at this image. What does it show? This image shows the parts of volcano. The main parts are the magma chamber, where molten rock or magma is found. Next, main vent, an opening through which an eruption takes place. And then, crater, basin like depression over a vent at the summit of the cone. Most people assume that volcanoes are tall, cone shaped structure that erupt violently and produce huge amount of ash, gas, and lava. However, not all volcanoes are limited to these features. Speaking of the shapes and sizes, do you want to know more about the classification of volcanoes? Now, let us have the classification of volcanoes according to the shape of the cone. First, let us have shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes get their name from their shape. They are literally shaped like a shield. The sides of shield volcano are not steep, but the volcano may cover a very large area. Do you know how they are formed? These volcanoes are formed from past flowing lava that flows easily over the surface. Since the lava is fluid, eruptions from this type of volcanoes are relatively violent. The slope of a shield volcano is less than 10 degrees. Mount Tanlaon, which is located in the island of Negros, is an example of shield volcano. Second is the cinder cone. Cinder cones are volcanoes formed from loose rock fragments ejected from a central vent. The ejected particles land near the vent, forming a cone with a slope of approximately 33 degrees. The lava is flowing in a single vent and once the bulk of gases have been released, the eruption begins to produce large flows of runny lava. 
These flows typically emerge from the inner fissures at the base of the volcano or breaches of the crater wall. Taal in Batangas is an example of cinder cone volcano. Third, composite volcanoes. These are also known as stratovolcano. They are tall, cone-shaped volcanoes. The slopes are steep and are made of layers of hardened lava and volcanic ash. The lava that flows from stratovolcanoes are highly viscous, which is why it cools down before it can spread far from the vent. Mayon is an active composite volcano located in Albay. And to better understand, let us perform this activity. Are you ready? Awesome! These are the materials needed. Laptop or smartphone. And make sure that you have an internet connection. This is what we are going to do. Study the three types of volcano. Using your laptop or smartphone, open your browser and navigate Google Earth. Search for the name of the given volcano. For example, Taal Volcano. Then, the application will bring you where the volcano is found. For better viewing, you can click the 3D option on the screen. Tilt the image so that you can examine the volcano. The table is divided into three columns. First, list of volcanoes. Second, location. And on the third, types of volcano. Put a check mark to classify it. Answer and copy the given table in a separate piece of paper. I will give you 5 minutes to finish this activity. Now, let's take a look at your answer. Number 1, Mount Bulusan, located in the province of Sorsogon. It is classified as a stratovolcano. Number 2, Mount Hibok Hibok. Location, Kamigin Island. Another stratovolcano. Next is Mount Iraya. It is located in Batan Island in the province of Batanes. This volcano is classified as Shield Volcano. The fourth one is Mount Babuyan, which is located at the Babuyan group of islands on the Sun Strait as Sintercone Volcano. The last is Mount Maribeles in Bataan and classified as Shield Volcano. If these are your answers, then you are spectacular! I am impressed with your progress! After classifying and knowing the locations of different volcanoes, answer the following guide questions. Number 1. What controls the shape of volcano? Number 2. Why do volcanoes differ in size? And number 3. How can volcanoes affect the lives of people? I will give you two minutes to answer this. Now, let's check your answer and see if you got it right. Number one, what controls the shape of volcano? The shape of volcanoes is controlled by the composition of magma and the nature of its eruption. Number 2. Why do volcanoes differ in size? The size of volcano is determined by the total volume of lava that has erupted. And number 3. How can volcanoes affect the lives of people? Volcanoes affect the lives of people in a positive 
in a negative way. If these are your answers, you got it right! Now, let us see if you remember the three types of volcanoes. Will you name them? Wow! You really listened and watched attentively in our discussion. The three types of volcanoes according to the shape of volcanic cone are shield, cinder, and composite or stratovolcano. Let us test your mastery of the lesson. Prepare your pen and paper. Read the questions to be flashed on the screen. Write the letter of your answer. You have 5 seconds to answer each. Here are your questions. What type of volcano has a gentle eruption with oozing lava flows? A. Shield B. Cinder cone C. Composite D. All types of volcano If your answer is letter A, you are correct! Which of the following characteristics of volcano depends on its magma emission? A. Age B. Size C. Shape D. Location The correct answer is letter C. You got it right! What type of volcano has a wide crater and the most abundant among the three major types? A. Cinder B. Composite C. Shield D. Submarine If your answer is letter A, you got it! Which of the following describes a cinder cone? A. Shaped like shield B. Typically become super volcanoes C. Grow slowly from many eruptions and D. Are often found near larger volcanoes If your answer is letter D, correct! What type of volcano has violent eruptions with alternating layers of lava flow and volcanic particles? A. Cinder B. Composite C. Shield D. All of the above The correct answer is letter B. Very good! Did you answer all the questions correctly? Excellent! You are doing a great job! With the knowledge you have about the characteristics of volcanoes, how do you think you can inform other people about them? Pretend that you are a tourist guide. Choose one in the Philippines which you would describe as regards to its location, shape, and activity. Put this information on a short band paper with a picture of your selected volcano. For the next meeting, all you have to do is to prepare the following materials because it's experiment time! As we end this episode, I want you to remember that when life becomes tough, be thankful. Consider yourself being melted so God could really mold you according to His preferred shape. Congratulations! You did great in this episode! Did you enjoy our session today? We do hope that you learned a lot from your learning adventures. Remember that impossible things are possible in science. Again, this is Teacher Sal, your science techie buddy from Cabiao National High School. Please tune in for another learning journey. Till then, happy viewing! <laughs>